Hey, Joe Soto here, and let's talk about the law of contrast. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like you had to differentiate yourself to your clients? Well, probably in every single situation that you're in, you've got to somehow stand out. You've got to show a client, you've got to demonstrate to your client that you are and your ideas are different. So how do you do that when you're presenting to clients? I'm going to show you how to do it by using the law of contrast. It's one of my favorite strategies for standing out and really helping the client see that what it is I'm presenting is truly different than something they may have come to expect or maybe that they were anticipating. So that way I can kind of catch them by surprise and also earn their confidence and trust in what it is I'm going to be doing for them. So you can do that through the law of contrast. Some people refer to it as the law of comparing contrast. So let's get into it. Think of it like this. This is the principle behind it. When two things that are relatively different from each other are placed next to each other in time, space, or thought, then we see them as very different. And it's easier to distinguish which one we want more. The question then becomes which, not whether or not. Okay, what do I mean by that? People then can go, when you show them a, 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 the contrasting examples, they'll decide, they'll look at it and go, okay, I want this one. It's about which one would you like? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think makes you more ROI? Which one makes you more money? Which one do you think will bring you more revenue? That's the question. The question is never going to be whether or not I can deliver or whether or not I can do what I'm saying I'm doing. It's not about that. It's about whether or not they want what it is I'm presenting. And then of course, if I've earned their trust, if I know what I'm doing, I can fulfill on what it is I'm suggesting and implying that I can do. So what do I mean by this? Well, first of all, most businesses who are advertising online, particularly those businesses that are advertising using Google pay-per-click Google ads used to be called Google AdWords, right? What they're doing is they set up an ad on Google and then they run those ads to their website, just a regular website. And on their website, they probably have their phone number. They probably have a call to action that they consider to be a call to action, which is give us a call or fill out this form or contact us today, whatever that call to action is. Typically those websites are kind of weak. Um, they're not built and designed for conversion. They're usually built by a web designer who is aesthetically uh, a good designer, you know, and made it really look really nice. But those sites aren't landing pages with single call to actions to drive people into a funnel where it can convert more highly convert into a lead or an inquiry or even a sale. If you're driving them to a sales page by driving people directly into a website, it's like driving people into a brochure and hoping that they read it, hoping that they decide to come back and shop with you. It's not that effective. Okay, it goes without saying that a funnel, for example, is more uh, high converting than a website. But that's beside the point. So let's say I'm showing a customer, I'm trying to sell them a funnel, okay? And I wanna show them the law of contrast. You can also do this for just if you're selling advertising because I can show somebody how, what their current advertising is by take, taking a look at their current advertising metrics like, let me sh show me your Facebook ad, show me your metrics behind it. And then I can have in a presentation in a PowerPoint, um, screenshots of a recent Facebook campaign I've done for a client that completely wows them that they look at it and go, Oh my gosh, you've reached hundreds of thousands of people. You've done it for only hundreds of dollars and not tens of thousands. Um, maybe you've, and I can see that you've collected X amount of emails by showing that contrasting example from what they're doing to what you can do. The law of a case study, right? Showing them a case study or a success story is leveraging the law of contrast. But let's say that specifically, I was selling them a website uh, or a funnel, okay? And I was looking at their current marketing system, all right? So I would say to maybe the customer, your current marketing system looks like this. You have an ad that's running right now on Google pay-per-click and that ad is running to your website, okay? That's your current marketing system. Would you agree that that's the marketing system you have in place deployed that's working for your business right now? And you I say working because you wouldn't be paying for Google ads if it wasn't producing some sort of revenue. Now the clients, they're always going to agree. They're going to say, yes, that's, you know, that's why we're doing it. Okay. So then I say, okay, let's contrast that. Let's look at that and compare it to a marketing system that we could set up for you instead. So let's say I was presenting this to them. I've already pre-written this out because I don't want to take the time to draw it on the video, but this would be the example. So let's say we have your ads and we, in addition to Google, we have Instagram and Facebook and YouTube ads running. So we're, 
were getting and grabbing traffic, targeted traffic, from different platforms where your audience resides and spends time on every single day. And we're going to drive them to a landing page with a call to action, and in which case you can customize it to the client you're talking to. Maybe it's to collect an email, to get, maybe it's to get an inquiry for an appointment or to book a free demo, or maybe it's to, you know, um, maybe it's a, a sales page to buy you know, a discounted e-commerce product or maybe a pack of products that they can buy a one-time only offer. And they can land on that landing page, which is going to be more high converting to the, to the web, to your, than your website. And we'll drive them very strategically through a sales process, kind of like a customized sales experience, if you will. And we'll hold the hand of your customer through different upsells and downsells uh, in the process before we all ultimately get them to a thank you page and thank them for being our customer. Now, for all that, that traffic that you're currently driving to your website right now, remember this is your marketing system, uh, you're not retargeting those people. So for instance, you're driving all that traffic, they're landing on your website, and when they land on your website, uh, where do they go when they leave? If 90% of the people who go to your website off an ad leave and go shop somewhere else, how important is follow-up to you? Would it be nice to be able to then serve them ads and follow up with those people that bounced off your site and went somewhere else that the next time they were on Facebook, they saw your ad. Maybe the next time they're on Instagram, they see your ad. And the next time they're on YouTube, they see your ad. And the next time you know, they're on different partner sites of Facebook and Google, they see your advertising. That's called retargeting and your system is completely missing that right now. So if you're interested in optimizing and maximizing your ad spend, then we would employ and, and recommend you employ retargeting into your marketing system because retargeting is your ability to follow up with potential customers, potential inquiries and leads within minutes of them leaving your website, which is really powerful. And you, you know, all customers can relate to that. And then of course you can follow up also with retargeting emails. So you can be contacting them in another medium, another platform via email that you know, that's, email is still very effective despite what a lot of social people would like to tell you. But it's the combination of all these things that make for a marketing system. This is partly how I sell uh, you know, marketing funnels. I teach this in Funnel Sales Academy, but at the end of the day, this is the law of contrast. Like you, you tell me, what would a customer rather pay more for a client? Would they rather, would, would, which, so this would be the question you would ask to leverage this, this law of contrast. I'd say, Mr. Smith, when you evaluate and you compare your current marketing system, which is driving ads to your website and crossing your fingers, to a marketing system that's more on purpose, that is more strategically in, working in your favor to optimize your ad spend, give you the most possible return for effort, and of course, remarket to people who have been on your website and left, which one do you think would be more effective? You see, so that's when the question, like I said earlier, becomes a question of which, not whether or not they want to use your services. And when you learn how to present like this, and you learn how to just explain, you know, what you're trying to do for the client versus, without getting into fancy words like funnels and, and, and you know, optimiz and, you know, conversion and all this type of stuff, they know their conversion isn't what it should be, but you have to really show them by using visual laws of you know contrast like this to help you so hopefully this was helpful and if you really like this then i would encourage you to take a look at my online i have like a hour-long master class on this i go really deep dive into how to sell marketing funnels if that would be something you'd inter be interested in or adding that to your repertoire of marketing services you can go to funnelsalesmasterclass.com and check that out in the meantime I appreciate hearing your feedback on this and whether or not this can help you in the future because you can do this for anything that you're trying to compare what somebody's doing to what you're going to do, comparing what someone's doing to a current case study, comparing what somebody's going to do, what somebody's doing already in their marketing to maybe a success story that you have so they can be like, wow, this is different, you're different, and I want to go with you. That's what you're going for. So thanks for listening.